before I'm trying to learn piano and um, I want to really take that into apply applying it to you know musical production and I want to I want to start being able to you know help other artists as well as myself get some albums going and um, really try to try to try to see how much of the creative process I could I could get done on my own you know and and see where that takes me I mean I really love music and I really want to take it as far as I could, I could possibly do so but at the same time like I'm, I'm trying to figure out college and stuff and I have I have the career path and all of that kind of good college boy stuff ahead of me but at the same time I want to try to make music as part of it as much as I can <laughs> Definitely, I love um, I love journalism. I'm actually majoring at my school for literary journalism, but I would love to take that into like uh, I don't know, a reporting kind of journalism, or maybe even reporting for a music magazine or um, hosting a, a music show or you know something like that, where I'm gonna be immersed in music anyway and just be able to talk about it and share share my experiences or share other artists' experiences. You know, I just I I love I love music, period, and I love talking about it. I love being around it, and I'm pretty sure that um, I I'll be able to find a way to meld the two together. You know, so that's that's ultimately what I want to do. Too many, um, all like all the greats I mentioned earlier, like AJ Raphael, Passion, Jennifer Chung, Alyssa Bernal. You also have um, Kit and Wen, CP, Matt Clores, um, Melissa Polinar, um, Summer Breeze, Emil. Um, there, there's so many people that I'm subscribed to and that I would love to spend all day just giving them highlights and shout outs. But uh, yeah, you can definitely check out my page and all of my favorites are under my subscriptions. <laughs> Technically, Ryan Leslie counts as a YouTuber, so I would have to say Ryan Leslie. I don't think I'd be worth it though, but hey. <laughs> I'd have to say the car. And as for why, it's because, oh, I like to sing in the car because um, every time I sing in and I'm at a stoplight, the guy or girl next to me gives me dirty looks, and I just sing harder, and I actually roll down my window and sing at them, and yeah, makes my day better. I don't know about theirs, but. You know, um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty crazy myself, so I think I would be able to handle a pain for laughs video but at the same time, I probably would enjoy it until I get to watch it after. Um, I do have a go-to move. Um, I don't know what you would call it, though. I, one of my friends, um, Raylan Rosales, she actually pioneered it, and I kind of took it and put my own spin on it. But um, it's basically you kind of just, you know, raise one arm up, and you kind of throw it out, but then she does like the two hand thing, you know, like just go side to side and throw that out. But I kind of put my own spin on it sometimes, you know, I put my neck in there, just combine it, and it just goes pretty crazy, you know, there's no stopping it, and it just keeps growing and growing from there, and it just starts looking like a big hot mess. But yeah. <laughs> Yes, I do. Um, I actually have my very first original four-song EP album um, called No Labels, and it is now available on iTunes, which is um, itunes.com slash chrismart. And you can also find um, details for physical copies at my MySpace account, which is myspace.com slash chrismartmusic. Um, my Twitter account, too, you could get more information on there, um, as well as my YouTube so yeah, check that out, please. It, a lot of work was put into it, and yeah, I want to see what y'all think. The best.
best place to find music and dance videos online is at Spintown on YouTube. Thank you.